How do you know can Spanish game here? Today I'd like to show you and maybe help you how to get your GTA 5 game back to running after the new update because if you're having some trouble after the new update uh, specifically uh, when you're loading up your game it crashes uh, I will like help you a little bit how to repair it how to verify files without like having to reinstalling the whole game for me it would be crazy because I have scratch DVD so I would have to download like 16 gigs and I found out some pretty cool stuff on the internet and I would like to share it with you so all you have to do is because if you problem usually is in your update folder and it is update RPF because if you have modded game this is only if you have your game modded so uh, you have modded this update.rpf file with some uh, texture models and all that stuff and it fucks up after the update and crashes the game while loading up so all you have to do is to repair it because it's not gonna verify and repair the game itself because it's just not gonna re it's gonna repair all files except update.rpf at least that's what I know now so you have to delete and firstly back up all your files like this what you're gonna delete you have to back it up first but uh, especially these ones so but actually you don't have to even back it up but if something could potentially fuck up and you could have need those files but to tell you the truth I don't think you will need them because your game is already not working huh so it's just uh, not necessary for that but I just wanna say it straight up don't wanna waste your time so do it like that this is your root GTA 5 folder usually located in program file steam something like that I have it in different file my personal games file which is here in my language whatever so go to your root folder and delete this GTA 5 and GTA 5 launcher you have to delete these files because if you would haven't done this stuff uh, it, it, it just won't work so delete these two files after deleting these two files go to your update folder and delete these two files and then just simply run your game after that through the desktop uh, and it's gonna work because it's gonna start updating and it's gonna firstly uh, give you the new GTA 5 and GTA 5 launcher files new x64 folder and most importantly the update.rpf file and that's the most important thing and if you wouldn't have done like deleting these two these two files it would just update mysteriously it would just update this x64 file and not this update RPF and from my own experience I know it because I was doing it without deleting these two files and it just wasn't working uh, it, the game was always crashing while loading up and that's it that's it that should be it hope it's gonna help you because it saved me some time it has only like it will download like 7 gigs from uh, social club still better than 60 gigs so hopefully it's gonna save you some time and if you still having like trouble understanding what I'm trying to say you I will put the whole tutorial in the description underneath the video uh, it was like the advice was given by orange kitty cat and I will just put the whole thing he wrote uh, underneath the video so hope it's gonna be helpful for you guys because for me it was real helpful and saved me a lot of time so that was just a short info uh, I'm not saying it's gonna help everybody but if you have modded update RPF file it should help you to get your game back to work thanks for watching hit like button potentially subscribe I'd like to see some more stuff like this or some a la speedy videos and as always, I will see you next time.